Hello Pipsters, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PIFX. As usual, we're gonna take a look at the majors here over YouTube. And if you want to see the full version, you are welcome to do so over my site. The link is in the description below. So while I roll the interim disclaimer, hit the like button for me. And if you're new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys um, as usual we start with the, the Dixie and let's take a look at the weekly time frame where we see that we <coughs> probably broke now this uh, trend line but the week uh, did not close above previous high yet uh, we're still fighting this uh, 200 moving average where the price got pushed back and closed at that moving average at around the 95.70 daily time frame we have this abandoned baby uh, pattern now and um, one could start uh, looking for a possible um, correction down for the dollar since we do have uh, this um, bearish hidden divergence there as i went to over overbought and start uh, reversing a little bit lower i think uh, any correction toward this area could be uh, leg it to start look once again at the 95 uh, level for pos another possible push to the upside is um, is very very possible for the dollar as you see on the four hour time frame last week uh, we had a bit of gap up here went back down another correction and back down at the nfp release we had this spike and the price went back down um, toward these levels at the close yeah so uh, if we got a correction down here that could be a good level where to start look for possible bullish uh, for the dollar for gold still very choppy in this area uh, once again we're still inside this range last week and up to be uh, bullish in golfing yeah so um, let's keep watching this on the daily we're still inside this range and nothing has changed here I still think uh, for more upside on the gold we really want to see a break at least a break to start above uh, the monthly R1 here and then we have more trouble around the uh, 1218 area this also need to be broken for uh, more continuation to the upside um, downside support we have uh, this area here down around the uh, 1190 1188 area this is also a possible uh, support level to watch as for now it is still sideways and we could uh, keep moving uh, this way for um, for a while yeah but as i said if you're looking to buy gold you need to see these levels uh, broken first for more upside um on that um oil we've got we tagged previous high here as i mentioned in the previous weekly overview and uh, we said that uh, the market objective was to reach and test this area now that did happen and thursday we've got a bearish engulfing candle followed by um, an indecision or a spinning top uh, candle that we have no close below previous low i still think uh, longer term um, it is uh, bullish on oil but um, it could give you some correction back down any correction toward the monthly pivot point could be a good level to look at for a possible uh, bounce and continuation to the upside this is an important level here and now since we broke and close above previous high the continuation is uh, possible uh, from uh, from this area EURUSD also um, was a bearish week and um, we were looking if we're gonna close below these lows here and that did happen we have the close below that right now we tested monthly S1 and um, as you see here on the daily you see it clearly you have this break below the structure we were looking for the retest and the continuation to the downside but we ended up with a spinning top um, doji ish candle on friday at the nfp so what we have right now on the four hour for the euro still is a bearish structure with lower lows and lower highs 
but with one concern that we do now have our a first higher high here this uh, bounce we got at the nfp release yeah so this bounce to the upside here make me a little bit um, worried about the continuation to the downside and start thinking that if we break back above this structure close above this um, level here uh, 1.1530 area there is a possibility for a deeper correction to retest the monthly pivot point area in this uh, previous uh, support and resistance flip zone at the same level here we do have the 200 moving average on the four hour so if that happened there is a possibility that we got we get a deeper correction before a continuation to the downside i still think the dollar um, the fundamental are still with the dollar and that's why i'm looking for more shorting opportunity for the the euro um, than going long um, another scenario that we if we do not break and give that deeper correction is if we break below this previous structure here that would make things much much easier to start looking for the retest of this structure and the monthly s1 and if that happened then there is a possibility that we open uh, the door all the way down to this structure low down here for the euro sterling usd ended the week strongly we started uh, by dipping below previous structure but thursday and friday was um, good bullish days for the sterling once again the sterling is still um, mostly driven by uh, brexit headlines and you really need to keep an eye on those headlines if you want to uh, trade this pair because uh, things changing very fast and it is moving on all headlines actually so what we have right now is uh, let, let's go back to the daily we have this higher low higher low another higher low so we start making higher highs and higher lows and the question is um, if we're gonna keep um, doing this or not yeah after breaking this low here i was thinking a retest and a continuation to the downside that didn't happen and since we are back above this structure here this important area of 1.3025 um, was a good um, support and resistance level so there is a possibility that if the price get accepted here that we uh, may see um, more to the upside so what i'm watching uh, for uh, the sterling is uh, if we're gonna get a retest toward the monthly pivot point and if this retest show us a bullish evidence at this level there is a possibility for another bounce toward this area or probably uh, higher okay uh, for the downside I want to see a break back below the monthly pivot point back below this area and um, to look at the retest if we're gonna get any bearish evidence at this level for the continuation to the downside move that did start early uh, last week uh, right now the rsi is uh, on the four hour is at the overbought territory and making uh, bearish hidden divergence as well if you see this high here uh, and on the RSI we have it like this so it is inversed that mean um, hidden bearish divergence and um, could be a signal for um, correction so we need to keep an eye on this level where the price is testing right now it is actually a possible resistant level of course the better level is up here but there is a possibility that we see some um at least short term movement from this area as well for um for the pair um usd jappy as you see here for our time frame uh, we broke below this channel let's go to the daily to show you where we were at uh, we tested a major high here around the 104 15.50 it is a major structure that we've got uh, rejected from many uh, three times at least in the past and um, thursday was um, we've got a dark cloud cover here and friday was another bearish candle so there is a possibility that 
UJ give us some correction to the downside especially now when the RSI was at the overbought and start moving to the downside four hour as you see we broke below this channel right now and uh, for more downside we want to see a break if this break below this structure happen then there is a possibility that we see a deeper correction on the pair around the, the monthly uh, pivot point um, area is a possible um, short-term correction on uh, UJ that is the 11250 area before um, a possible continuation yeah but as you see the daily move was very strong and it could give some correction to the downside we probably should start looking at first at around the 11320 uh, this uh, previous structure here uh, it uh, wasn't uh, retested before so look at that at the first retest to see if if it's gonna act as a possible support and start moving up from this area otherwise I think the monthly pivot point and this previous low here could be uh, the possible better support uh, in this case Aussie USD, this descending channel is still holding well. We need to go to the weekly to see where we are at. As you see on the weekly, uh, Aussie um, broke below previous structure low. It is very weak now. And uh, looking left here, there's nothing to work with. So um, I think uh, the way is open all the way to down here to retest these uh, previous lows here. That is the last line of defense before start talking about these areas yeah so uh, the channel is still holding well we retested it and uh, pushed back lower and after the break of this structure nothing left uh, below so um, i think uh, any correction toward this broken structure here and the monthly s1 could be a possible level to look for uh, possible shorting opportunities or up above here still also a possible level to look at for our time frame it looks the same and um, yeah as you see this should be our first area to look for possible shorting opportunities up here uh, so start looking for something like this and the downside or if we reach this level that would be the second uh, shorting area USD CAD <clears throat> very strong uh, move to the upside after breaking out of this consol uh, consolidation or this triangle and uh, we broke above closed the gap um, broke above this um, like this got the retest and uh, another push to the upside so it is still uh, possible for more upside on the pair looking on the daily we still have some room to reach back to this channel and these previous lows here so um, i think there is uh, more uh, more to it for the upside keep an eye if we got another retest to this area for a possible push back up toward these levels especially if oil also do that correction to the downside okay usd chief uh, let's take off this we've been looking for the retest and uh, another bounce to the upside but as you see the corrections are not so uh, big on the pair so daily time frame we were looking for retest of this structure but on friday we've got rejected and uh, it is still the same idea actually any retest back down toward this level could be an area to look for another push to the upside on the pair uh, for our time frame it looks like this a break below the structure will mean that we may get that uh, deeper uh, correction on on the pair New Zealand USD same as Aussie USD very weak on the weekly time frame you see that we broke below previous structure and now we are heading to test this low and this last line of defense on the monthly time frame you see that uh, I showed you this guys for a while now uh, since we broke here around uh, June I said that we have now broke out this correction and we may start um, moving to the downside and probably con complete an ABCD move here but as first 
we need to see what will happen next week. If we're gonna break below the B, if that happened, then that will open the door to complete this pattern. As you see, there is nothing here if we, bro if we break below this previous structure. So it is a very, very interesting chart. And if you're holding a short, keep holding it until we start reaching these levels. Um, if you're not short, you want to uh, look for a possible retest of this broken structure at this area, start looking for a shorting possibilities or back up uh, around the monthly pivot point uh, is also a possible area. So that was it for today, guys. A quick reminder for you, those of you who are still in the thinking process, today is the last day to get the offer on my course and mentoring program, and that is uh, $200 off. So if you are really interested to take your trading to the next level, go to www.pa-fx.com, go to courses, and you have all the information you need to have over there. Thank you very much. See you next week. Bye-bye.